I was asked the question recently in one of our YouTube live shows, what could be used as a substitute for tomatoes? And I had absolutely no idea. I couldn't think of a thing. Fortunately, you all had my back and Jan sent me an email and said, you should use red pepper as a substitute for tomato and make a red pepper marinara. So here we are, let's do it. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. We are back for another whole plant food cooking recipe video without a recipe because when it's this simple, who needs a recipe, am I wrong? If you're new to the channel, welcome. I make all whole food vegan recipes without added oil, usually, like in this recipe, all totally SOS free, no added salt, oil, or sugar. The simplest food is the healthiest food, and it's also the fastest to cook. And if you wanna be healthy, you've gotta cook all your own food pretty much, because eating out in the real world is nothing but poison. So anyway, let's get right to it. The first thing we're gonna do is roast these 10 red bell peppers. We're just gonna cut them in half. Let's get started. So just take all 10 of these peppers, cut them down the center, and then take your fingers and pull out this stemmy guts here and seeds and you're good to go. That's it. And if you're really in a hurry, you don't have to roast these. You could just blend them up and then cook them like tomatoes on the stove in your marinara. But I think the roasting is going to really bring out the sweetness. I think you're going to like it a lot more roasted. Okay, let's do this. So I've got a few cookie sheets here that I've put down a layer of parchment paper on and just lay these halves all out on here like that. You're going to need a few of these. No big deal, doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. All right, we're ready to go. We're gonna put these right up on the top shelf of the oven, right under the broiler, and the broiler's gonna pretty much char and burn them. Don't worry, we're not gonna be eating all the burnt stuff. I'll show you, we'll get there. All right, while the peppers are in the broiler, I have one actual carrot. I've seen a lot of recipes that call for some carrot in their marinara. I've never done it in my tomato-based marinara, so I thought, why not give it a shot? So all we're gonna do is cut the top off, maybe the little bottom tip, cut this thing in half, and throw it right into our blender. We're just gonna blend it with the uh, red pepper. We don't need to cut it up into baby pieces and saute it with the onion. We'll just, we'll just throw it in here and it'll cook with our red pepper. We're good, whatever. Let's chop up some onion and mushrooms. So I'm just going to take the top and bottom off of this onion. Simple, simple, skin it. Okay, cut it in half and let's dice it. Just like normal. This knife is not super sharp, bro. All right, into a bowl. All right, along with the onion, I've got like a pound of baby bellas. You can use whatever mushroom you like. We're just gonna chop them up and throw them in with the onions. Okay, there you have it, a pound of mushrooms. While we're chopping, and since I still have time, um, we're waiting on the peppers, I really like my pasta with zucchini on top. Some lightly sauteed zucchini, still a little bit crunchy, is my favorite. So let's chop up a few zucchini just to finish off our pasta at the end. How about it? So these are pretty small. I'm just going to cut them in half, and we'll just half moon these suckers like that. Mm-hmm. Looking good. Okay, zucchini, we'll put that over here too. Let's get these red peppers done. All right, I think they're ready, let's do this. Oh boy, look at those. Check those out, they are pretty charred, hey? Well, I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, all we're gonna do is be careful, they're really hot, all right? Is we're gonna throw them into a Ziploc bag, seal it up, whoo! You could use tongs, why don't we use, why don't we use some tweezers? I feel like that would make the most amount of sense here. I'm burning my fingers. Okay, grab them and throw them in. Mm -hmm. Just like that. So just seal this bag up for a few minutes and set it aside and we're going to steam off these skins and you'll see how easy it is to peel off all that char, alright? Alright, while well, those red peppers are sweating, let's get these veggies going. I've got a hot pan going for the uh, onion and mushroom, throw them in. We're just dry sauteing, no added oil. These veggies are going to give off lots of liquids and we'll just add a little bit of water to keep it going. These are looking nice, they smell amazing. The mushrooms are giving up a lot of liquid. All right, let's throw in some herbs and spices. I've got like a nice tablespoon of garlic. I love garlic. And I'm gonna throw in like a good tablespoon of Italian seasoning, don't hold back. And I've also got some dried, some freeze dried basil. I love additional basil in here. You could chop up some fresh basil if you want, but I love the extra basil. And then I'm gonna throw in some crushed red pepper too. I like it spicy. Let's throw in a little bit of water too and get this stirring up. If you don't like it spicy, use black pepper instead of the crushed red pepper. Maybe that'll work better for you. Mmm, smells amazing. 
All right, I'm going to kill the heat on this and we're going to go take care of our red pepper so we can pour that into this sauce and finish it up. Let's get these babies turned into sauce, shall we? So as you pull these out of the bag, you're going to see that these skins are going to peel right off. They're not so hot anymore. I've let them sit for like 10 minutes or so and that is ready to go. Look how nice that just peels right off. You can use your finger or you can use a fork for this if you want, whatever is easier for you. And that's it. Do this for all 10 of the bell peppers and we're going to throw them into the blender and blend them up with the carrot. This process is pretty much the exact same as we did in my green salsa, the roasted poblano salsa. That was a really good one. You should check it out too. Okay, we've got all 10 of our roasted red bell peppers in here along with that one carrot. Let's liquefy this thing. Okay, here we go. All right, let's do it. Let's throw the bell pepper and carrot in here with our sauce. Get it all. Get it all in there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. This is pretty thick, so I'm going to add a little bit of veggie stock to this to loosen it up a little bit. You could add water if you wanted. It doesn't have to be veggie stock. Oh, that looks beautiful. It smells amazing. I got to clean up. Mm-hmm. Okay, I've added maybe a cup or two of veggie stock, not too much, just enough to loosen this thing up so that we can let it simmer and all the flavors will come together really nice. Slowly bring the temp of this thing up to a boil and then simmer it for maybe five or 10 minutes. It probably doesn't need very long. You could go longer if you want, whatever, uh, and then it should be ready to go. I'm gonna throw this splash guard over it because this is pretty explosive. Okay, our pasta water is going. Let's do some spaghetti. We've got our pasta and our sauce going over there. If you want to make things a little more complicated but fancy, I've just got some raw cashews, throw in this little tiny magic bullet deal, and I'll throw in some nooch, nutritional yeast, maybe like half and half, something like that. It doesn't matter that much. And I'll just blend these two things up together and they make a delicious little Parmesan cheese alternative. Check it out. Okay, that pasta's got like a minute to go. I've just heated up some water right in this pan here. I'm gonna steam this zucchini in a little bit of water just for a minute or so till it's nice and tender. I like the zucchini to stay a little bit crunchy so I don't wanna overdo it here with the steaming. Okay, our pasta's done, let's strain it out. Okay, so one thing I like to do to keep the pasta from sticking is I'll take a little bit of the juice off the top of the sauce here and throw it in with this pasta and then stir it around and that'll stop it from sticking together since we don't use oil or anything like that when we're boiling our uh, pasta. Our zucchini looks beautiful. Okay, let's put this thing together. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Looking good. A good appetizer sized portion for me. All right, sauce. Oh yes. Scoop on a little bit of steamed zucchini. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Okay, then I'm just gonna sprinkle on a little bit of our Parmesan alternative. Oh yes, and that is amazing. How simple is this meal? I cannot wait to eat it. No tomato marinara. Oh what? Oh what? Hmm. That is hot. Hmm. This is amazing. How fast and easy is this to make for any meal during the week? You name it. And if you can't eat tomatoes, you're in luck because roasted red pepper marinara is super delicious. I'll be making this again for sure. This is how I eat all day, every day. And if you like this form of cooking, super simple, healthy, whole food ingredients that nourish your body and taste amazing too, then please click this playlist right here to watch more of my cooking videos. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.